You found the Steel National Championship Air Races presented by Reno Tahoe. And we're on the sixth lap now. Next time by for our leader in race six should be the white flag when he comes by. Great shot of him again headed back down into the Valley of Speed. Next to last time, Tommy. Yeah, Dusty Dow, the Ag Pilot from Syracuse, Kansas. He's coming to the white flag here, Tommy, and that sound, I can just tell there's goosebumps on every viewer at home all across the world, America and all across the world listening to that P-51. And here we are, one lap to go, Tommy. This is for the silver medal for this week of racing and a year of preparation for all of these teams. We salute the pilots and the teams especially. They all work so very hard. There's Spam Can, our second place airplane coming past the steel start finish line. Beautiful look at that D-model P-51 Mustang. He's a good 10, 15 seconds behind our leader. Back in the field, you heard on the radio there, Tommy, we've got uh, pilots talking to each other as they get close and pass each other, and that's one of the safety considerations, letting each other know, because visibility isn't all that great, especially behind and to the side. But we watch our leader, who is not having to worry about that at all, Tommy. Nope. He's out front. He's on rails. He's half a lap to go to win the silver medal here at Reno in 2022. Not going to have any lap traffic to deal with. This has gone down very, very fast. For John Dusty Dow. I bet if we looked at uh, how he drew it up in his mind before he got in that airplane this afternoon, this is exactly how it played out. He's flown a very tight, very consistent course, and he has done nothing but perfection to earn this medal. Let's listen as he comes by one last time. Oh, inspiring that incredible sound as John Dowd gets ready to bring this one home and take the silver medal. Race number six, Shanty Irish, John Dusty Dowd. Woo, man, that's awesome to see these unlimited airplanes. Well, we still got races going on behind. Here's our number two racer, race zero, Mark Moody in the spam can taking the flag here, finishing second place in the silver pairing. And then look here behind, we've got... Should be Mike Josh Fletcher. Is right that there? there. And then we've got the blue and silver. Mike Fletcher there, finished fourth. Race 49. And it's still coming down the uh, Valley of Speed here, Tommy. Down low, we've got a couple racers still on the course, making their way to our final pylon cam. Here we go. There, there's our uh, Tom Nightingale in Bunny, the red, yellow, and silver. P-51 D model. Race 62, started in the seventh position. Proved his position a good bit. And he's actually finishing in seven. Just ahead of him outside of the camera shot was the P-63 King Cobra, finishing sixth. And there we watch the final checkered flag. Tommy, we put a wrap on this one. That is unlimited silver pairing here in Reno. Let's go back and look at the start. Now remember they came down the chute had to stay in their lanes until the guide pylon, which you can see in the bottom left of your screen. You see they're making that first turn right there. And down low and in front, you see Dusty Dowd in race six. Out front, here he is coming around pylon seven, eight, and nine for the first time. Headed up the home stretch toward the steel home start finish pylon. And here we had a great race for second and third for a little while. Goshaw really was pushing up on Moody. And uh, they got close for a while, but I don't know if something got hot or if uh, Moody just found something. Eventually, Moody held him off and was able to stay in that position all the way to the finish for second, Tommy. It's the thing of beauty to watch uh, John Dowd do what he does best out here. And of course, this uh, race went on for third and fourth place for a good while here before separating just a little bit, as you said. Yeah, there you can see the distinctive markings on Man of War, the top of the wing with those stripes. And here it looks like he got by him at the home pylon right there, Tommy, as we went around. This is about lap five or six. And as he went around those first few pylons, that next time he just, uh, that was it. Never, uh, that was the high tide mark for him. And then he fell back. And then we're back to our leader as he just wrapped it up. He was out front from the start in the clean air. He was on rails the entire race. Perfect race for Dusty Dowd in race six and the Shanty Irish A model. P51. 
Been racing hard this week, trying to go from uh, from the silver class into the gold. Just missed it by one position yesterday. It's very, very good effort during the course of the week, and he's got a silver medal to show for it here in the Steel National Championship Air Races. Unlimited there. John Dowd, race six, Shanty Irish in first. Mark Moody, zero. Spam can. That's in second place. Ken Gottschall, race 55. Man of War in third. Mike Fledger. Lady B, race 49, Patrick Nightingale, Pretty Polly in 63, race 63, and Tom Nightingale in sixth place, race 62, Bunny, Jeff LaBelle, was a late scratch. Yeah, it was, uh, it was bumpy, you know, it was, it was pretty bumpy out on the course, and, uh, but the join up was good, uh, all professionals, I mean, you know, it just, uh, really a great bunch of guys to race with and my crew you know I just I just steer I work on it but I steer the airplane and uh, if it wasn't for the crew you know I wouldn't be here uh, the airplane wouldn't be ready and uh, so it's a uh, it's just an honor to, to do this I went to my first air race when I was seven years old in 1958 back in Fulton New York and so been in my blood ever since you know yeah thank you